The Zoning Board of Appeals hears a plan for a proposed new brewery in Hyannis. President and CEO of the Hyannis Area Chamber of Commerce, Jessica Silver, talks about how they are preparing for another busy summer season on Cape Cod. And we have details about a fundraiser for the Weldon Memorial Library. These stories and more on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, March 27, 2014. I'm Sarah Mannell. Pete and Ann Connor hope to open a new craft brewery in Hyannis on West Main Street. The pair went before the Zoning Board of Appeals last night to present their plans for the former Cape Cod Commercial Linen Building next to Stephen Sue's Party Freeze. Pete Connor described how the brewery would operate for the board. This brewery is primarily going to be manufacturing of the craft beer and selling of retail craft beer in closed containers uh, to the public. Uh, and then also some off-site distribution to area restaurants and golf courses. Uh, one thing that we are also um, proposing to do is to get a, a pouring license, a farm brewery pouring license. And that is uh, required by law if we want to have anybody sample uh, the product when they come in. It's not legal to just give somebody a sample, so there's a pouring license application that will be part of this. Uh, and we will, um, we will apply for a subsequent to this um, approval. And uh, these samples are going to be very small, um, small two ounce uh, glasses so that folks can taste the beer and determine which, which they would like to buy uh, for off-site consumption. So th the main thing I wanted to make sure that uh, everybody was aware of is this is not going to be a pub, a bar, a nightclub. It's not going to be some, a place where people come and consume alcohol for a long period of time. They come and they get their small ounce samples, which are limited. Uh, and then they you know, choose the ones that they want to take for off-premise consumption. And I wanted to make sure that that was clear. Um, also, as part of the parking proposal approved by the site plan review, uh, we're looking to add uh, a number of uh, parking spaces to bring the total up to 19, as well as four um, spaces for the loading dock. Um, and so that's very important because based upon the small number of seats we're going to have between 12 and 15. Uh, that was going to be required, and, and that was part of the site plan review. Um, uh, also, uh, in addition, um, uh, there's going to be um, some uh, site improvements, which are going to include um, a, a hops garden for folks to kind of look through and see kind of how, how uh, that agricultural process works, because that's a main component of the beer. One neighboring business has some concerns about a brewery opening in that location. Attorney David Lawler spoke out against the project for his clients, Steve and Sue Fideli, owners of Party Freeze. So it is in some respects acting as a package store. So if someone has been drinking and makes the mistake that they and they've had too much to drink and they want to go get another growler and they are intoxicated. They're going to be pulling into this area where you have little children walking on a constant basis with their parents to get to access their cars. Or you have cars coming in with little children on board um, with, you know, backing right out into that particular easement. And it's a great concern for the Fidelis. I've had a long conversation with them. They, you know, um, to some extent do this with regret. They like their neighbors. They don't, you know, they're not trying to stop them from selling their business, but but for this particular use at this time is just unacceptable to them. Um, and they're concerned. I mean, they have a reputation and they're concerned for the safety and health and well-being of their clients, uh, mainly children of the town of Barnstable and their, and their parents who come to uh, Stephen Sue's. One board member recused himself following Lawler's testimony, leaving the board without a quorum, making any vote on the matter impossible. The board members pre present opted to continue the public hearing and presentation until the April 23rd Zoning Board of Appeals hearing. That meeting will be held in the town hall hearing room at 7 o'clock. 
The Hyannis Area Chamber of Commerce is spending much of the winter working to make sure this summer is a successful season for our local businesses. Barnstable This Morning host Sarah Colvin talked with President and CEO Jessica Silver about the organization's efforts. We share a portion of that interview with you now. Uh, this is the time of year, of course, as you're gearing up for the busy summer season. Lots of work goes on. There may not be as many people here, but certainly that doesn't mean there's any less work for you. And I think one of the things um, that you and your staff do this time of year is attend conferences and trade shows. So talk to me a little bit about um, that aspect of what you do. Oh, my goodness. So um, we kick off the year by attending the American Bus Association, which is a trade show that deals with uh, bus groups. And as you, I'm sure, are well aware, we have many of those throughout the season. Yes. And uh, which is great. You know, we told them all about Hyannis. Um, one of the new things that we did this year is with our new video that we produced through our tourism grant, um, thanks to the town of Barnstable, we put those on, we put the video on a thumb drive and we handed those out to all our appointments. Oh, that's great. Yep. And a lot of, they were so thrilled with it, the bus people, that they are going to take our video and they're actually going to play it as they're coming into town so people can get a feel for our area before they really officially get here and start doing things. Oh, what a great idea. And Jessica, I've seen that video and it really does uh, do a great job of highlighting what we have to offer here in Hyannis. So what a great way as people are on the bus, uh, if they haven't been here to p before, to take a look at that and find out what we have. Uh, that's great. Yeah, it was, it was a great thing that we thought of doing. So we take that trade show and we roll into the next one, which is the AAA show, which is up at Gillette. And that just happened earlier this month. And that's more of a consumer show where it's more of people are attending the show and they're picking their vacations and they're looking for places to go. So we want to obviously educate the area up there, those people who haven't been to the Cape or who have been and haven't been back in a while and just let them know what's going on and you know, all the great things that are happening this year. Um, from that trade show, we go to Powwow, which is all international travel, and we partner with the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce Indeed. and among other members of both chambers and um, a couple other, other uh, Falmouth Chamber and Martha's Vineyard Chamber as well. And we're going to do the same thing there, bring our thumb drives with our, with our video and hand those out so that the international travelers on their way home can check out our video and hopefully, you know, book their groups here. Exactly. And in my conversations uh, with Wendy Northcross, of course, uh, the head of the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce, uh, she really says that it looks like that international market is really picking up. And I think especially with that direct flight from Japan to Boston, um, yep. certainly an opportunity to lure um, more of the international travelers um, here to Cape Cod and especially and, here to Hyannis. And now we've even got the JetBlue yes. from Hyannis to New York. So I'm hoping... For those that stop in New York first, they'll hop on a plane and come straight to Hyannis. Absolutely. And, and Jessica, let's talk a little bit about that, too, because that's really exciting uh, to hear JetBlue uh, say they, they've kind of forged a partnership with our, our airport and they will be offering that. Um, it's just one flight a day, but still that's, that's one flight a day more than we had before between JFK and New York um, and uh, Cape Cod. And I know so many people come from New York to come to Cape Cod and to not have to drive all the way, go over all the traffic, forget about the traffic leaving New York, the traffic coming on to the Cape, um, to, so to be able to get on that JetBlue, that's awesome. It is, we're excited, and, and it's just like with the Cape Flyer, you know, I feel like we're starting to get back into the, the game with everything, and getting people here, and not having to rely so much on cars, and so it's, it's a great... It's all great things that are happening, and we can all benefit from it. To learn more about the Hyannis Area Chamber of Commerce, you can visit Hyannis.com. Barnstable residents can weigh in on town issues without ever even leaving home. The Barnstable I Forum is the place to go to share your thoughts and ideas for moving the town forward. Three new topics of conversation are awaiting your input. You can share ideas for streetscape improvements to C Street, voice your concerns about the busy stretch of Route 28 between Old Stage Road in Centerville and Bruce's Way in Hyannis. And you can also tell your stories of days gone by in Barnstable as we celebrate our 375th anniversary. You can head to barnstableiforum.com to share your thoughts today. Well, this Saturday, the Weldon Memorial Library in West Barnstable is hosting its annual Time, Talent, and Treasure auction. The auction begins at 5 p.m. Saturday with a social hour at the library. Guests will then walk to the West Barnstable Community Building to preview auction items and enjoy clam chowder and desserts. All money raised during the event will go to the library.
Be sure to tune in to Barnstable this morning, our daily hour-long news program, live at 7 a.m. right here on Channel 18. On tomorrow's show, we'll have our weekly arts and culture segment. We'll also talk with Sandy Neck Beach Park Manager Nina Coleman about what damage the beach endured during yesterday's storm. And we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.